Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Normally, we don't talk about celebrity gossip, so I apologize. I just got caught up in it for a moment. I know as the emperor, I'm supposed to be judging street fights, not getting into them. My apologies. But, um, yeah, and, it's, and I don't respond to comments. I never have, and I, I don't. I, I learned that a long time about the energy exchange. Never respond to comments, people. And if somebody wants me to, that's what they want. If there's different reasons why you don't want to respond to comments, especially when you're emotional. Because, for one, you can say things that you'll regret, and they will use against you, and they can get you banned from YouTube, by the way. If, you, if somebody baits you into saying something, and they consider it a threat, they can say, look, this person's threatening me. And they can have you banned just because you responded to somebody. Imagine that, having... You know, spending years building up your channel just to have some troll just, just shut it down and destroy your business. It can happen, so you got to be careful of the energy exchange, people. And try to get caught up in the gossip, in the, in the drama, in the sideshows that are going on in the world. Because it should be about focusing on yourself. And um, this channel is about everything under the sun. I'm not going to just talk about celebrity train wrecks. I'm going to talk about um, supernatural things going on. Like um, prophecies, those are amazing, interesting. Nostradamus, the one I want to talk about today is the Russian lady, the old Russian lady that just—I mean, she looks like like a thousand years old—and she's she made some prophecies. And the one prophecy that I that stuck with me, and I was like, "Is this a possibility?" And what 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 does that mean? Was the one where she said Donald Trump would be the last American president. Think about that for a second. Right now, we are in the middle of a, a controversy. This isn't like the, the, the uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, the one that was all about the climate change. Uh, I can't, think. that's how relevant he was. There was an election before there where it was too close to call. And then they said one, one side stole it, blah, blah, blah. This election is, this last election was uh, was absolutely stoked. You had people like just, yeah, it's just, come on now. So that's my point, is like, was she right? Was this, the la was Donald Trump getting elected truly the last time anybody voted for American president? Because think about this for a second, and this is really important right now. At this moment, Joe Biden is handing over sovereignty of America to the globalist, to the United Nations, to the WHO Foundation, which is pretty much China. Can you imagine? He's handing over our sovereignty. American citizens are going to be under UN control. The Bill of Rights, gone. Declaration of Independence doesn't exist anymore. It's, it's irrelevant document as far as people are concerned so you have to understand what I'm talking about right now <clears throat> was Donald Trump the last American president will Americans no votes no longer count if all voting is mail-in ballots what if those ballots once they're mailed in they just get changed when they get in there I mean I just the fact that people can't go to booths and actually vote in person man, I don't know Put your thumb on it. Put your finger. I that might. I'm personally. I think that would be amazing. But like I said, let's just focus on this lady's prophecy. Donald Trump would be the last American president. And right now, Joe Biden is an American president. He's not my president. I have. Here's the thing. Joe Biden should be in jail for extortion, among other things. This, that's. The, I think extortion is probably the least of this fucker guy's crimes. Right? I am not even kidding. We're talking, if you want to imagine a mob boss and the crimes that a mob boss would be guilty of. Extortion, um, drugs, hookers, murder, all this stuff. Yeah, basically, they're running the, the sex slavery. Mob bosses, right? They run all the naughty shit. And you think this motherfucker isn't guilty of all this crap? Like, that's why I use comparison and metaphors. So lawyers can't sit there and say, you can't, I ain't saying nothing. I'm just talking. Was Donald Trump the last elected American president? And will there be any more elections? 
Or is it just going to be the United Nations just decides who, who our puppet master is? I mean, I'm just trying, I'm talking. I just think it's fascinating. I truly believe that we are in a time of, here's, and this is what I was thinking about before I thought about that prophecy, is Republicans are not Republicans. Democrats are not Democrats, they're globalists. This, this McCarthy guy, the speaker, whatever this guy is, the Republican in the Congress or House or whatever, he's a globalist. He's not a Republican. He's a traitor. He's a piece of shit. And I was listening to ads for Republicans trying to come back into office. I retired Badanovich or some crap, some guy in California. He's retired. He's coming back to, to, to bring back the old school conservative, right? And guess who endorses this asshole? McCarthy. Okay, obviously he's a globalist then. He's gonna be he's gonna be toting the globalist water. So we don't have it. Here's the fun part is even the Democrats are getting tired of their shit. If you're a Democrat and you think Joe Biden is amazing still, and and Clammy Harris is just the genius, um here, here's the thing. I'm not a sexist. I think women are powerful. Period. I think that lady is an absolute joke. I think she's mentally deficient. I think she's probably was best at blowing given given the Honorable Mayor Willie Brown, BJ's. That's all she was good at. Is is sucking Willie Brown's cock. That was her job. And apparently she did a good job. Now she's vice president. But the woman can't put two sentences together without confusing the shit out of everybody in the room because it doesn't make any fucking sense. Example. Today is going to be an amazing day. Because today is amazing. If it wasn't today, it wouldn't be amazing. But luckily today, we're here and it's amazing for today. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Listen to her speeches. So these are the people we're talking about. Are we already under their control? The pandemic, the they're just going to reinitiate mass and all that shit. And they're going to start forcing people to go around getting, going, knocking door to door and making, pumping people with their booster shots and, and watching them fall, man. Watching them fall. <clears throat> Interesting times we live in, people. This is just me and you talking. Prophecies. Will they come true? Are they coming true? Are we in the middle of some kind of... Is this... Ugh. Whew, the, you think the religious aren't getting super pumped right now? These Christians are all about the, the you know, the Antichrist and, the, and Jesus is coming back now. And can you blame them? You know what I mean? I'm like, like I said, I'm not, I'm not affiliated with any organized religion, period. I tap straight into God. I can stand anywhere on this fucking planet. And I'm talking to God and I'm talking to the universe. I don't need a seal of approval from the Pope, who, by the way, is a Satanist. Please. I don't need the seal of approval from anybody, anywhere. No guru. The Buddha was the comeback. I'd say, bless you, Buddha. Good for you. You're enlightened, but don't tell me what to do. Although I do love the Buddha. Namaste. So this is just me talking and wondering about the future and wondering about politics. And, and it's fascinating. In the end, I will say this. Democrats... And Republicans don't exist anymore. It's a, it's a, it's, it's an illusion, people. You're all Americans. You're either really conservative Americans, where you're very rigid about your bills, about your job, about your sex. Good for you. Or you're liberal. You're really liberal about your job, liberal about your money, and liberal about your sex. Good for you. But you're all still human beings, man. And we all still have to live in community together. We're not going to be caging people. We're not going to be building fucking concentration camps for, for Trump supporters or Bernie bros. We're here as Americans to live together, as human beings, as, you know, if you want to get global on the, on the, on the, on the world. I can't even use the terms that they use anymore. I can't use global terms or, we are all one. Let's just go symbiotic. Let's just say we are one, period. We are one. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is crazy. But and I'm getting thirsty. So have a wonderful day. I love you, God. I already said that. Damn. I'm alert. Anyway, I love you. Bye.